Br Briz Brizinger. I'm gonna say Brizinger. It doesn't have an E, so it confuses me because I feel like it should be Brizinger, but there's no E. So I digress. sweet angels it's your girl Jay and today I am here with a book haul I have 21 books that I'm going to haul before I put them on my shelves these have been accumulated over the past couple of months it is about time we get them onto those shelves so without further ado let us get started the first thing I want to talk about is not a book but I am very excited about it. I was sent a pair of Fermo eyeglasses. They come in this protective case and then when you open it up, it has some cards that give you a little bit more information, including a 50% off code, which I will leave down in the description for all of you. Then you have your other protective carrying case. If you don't wanna use the hard one, then you also have a soft carrying case. It says it's the cleaning cloth and pouch. I got a pair of sunglasses because I don't wear prescription glasses, so I thought why not get a pair of sunglasses because my beloved pair that I've had since high school broke a couple months ago and I have not replaced them. So when they emailed me about this, I was so excited and immediately went to the sunglasses. But these are the ones that I got. They are the Frames LT1246. I will leave the code in the description box as well if you want this exact pair, but I absolutely love them. I think that they are so stinking cute. I got the tortoise frames specifically because I have wanted a pair of tortoise sunglasses for the longest time. I just feel like they're very like designer and like higher end than just like regular black or a solid color. Fermo has such affordable glasses. The shopping experience going through all of the styles is so easy and they are so cheap. This specific pair was only $54.01 and with the 50% off code that is in my description, you guys can get it for way cheaper. So I highly recommend Fermo. I'm going to be wearing these like every single day, even in the winter because here in Canada it snows and that sun reflects off of that snow and it blinds you. So I am so excited. Thank you so much to Fermo. Please do check out the code down below to get your own pair of sunglasses. I highly recommend. I'm on Honestly, just gonna wear these for the rest of the video because it's keeping the hair out of the face which is honestly a lot of the time how I wear my sunglasses if I am inside I will still have it on my head all day but now I we're going them. to move on to the 21 books that I have to share with you guys the first 11 books that I have are actually from my co-worker because she was clearing out her house and she knows that I'm a big reader and she knows that I love dragon books so she was like hey i got 11 dragon books you want and i was like absolutely so sight unseen she just brought them to me and i am excited because i don't own or have read any of these so the first five are all part of the same series it is the dragon keeper chronicles by donica k paul so the first one is dragon spell the second one is dragon quest third is dragon knight fourth is dragon fire and five is dragon light i'm just gonna hold up the first book because five books is very heavy in my opinion so so this series is essentially about a girl named kale who is a servant but she gets the opportunity to become a paladin and she goes on a quest trying to find the last dragon egg that will essentially save the kingdom and it's kind of the story of that i'm assuming she finds that dragon egg and becomes like the dragon rider or something i honestly don't know but I am very excited I have the full series so I can literally just binge the entire thing but I think it's gonna be a grand old time the next three books are classic dragon books if you think dragon book and you are over the age of 20 you probably know which books I'm gonna hold up but I have never read them which is blasphemy in my opinion but they are the first three books in the Aragon series. I only thought it was a trilogy. It turns out, no, it's a fourth book. And he just came out with a fifth book. The first book is Aragon. The second book is Eldest. The third book is Brisinger. Again, I'm only gonna hold up the first book because it is very heavy. I thought that Aragon was the dragon. No, 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 no. Turns out Aragon is the boy in the story, which I had no idea. I found that out the other day and I was like, wait, what? Basically, it is about a boy named Aragon. He finds a very shiny blue stone in the forest and he thinks that 
his life of poverty is about to change. He thinks he is going to sell this stone for some money for his family, but then a dragon hatches out of it and his entire world changes. Like I said, this is like the classic dragon book if you are over the age of 20 and I am so excited to finally own them. Obviously don't have the fourth book, but that can be found, I'm sure, somewhere in the world. So I'm going to binge those three and if I like them, we're gonna go find the fourth book. And then the final three books that are from my co-worker are Ink Heart, Ink Spell, and Ink Death. This is another like classic book from when I was a child that I just never read and I don't really know why. It follows a girl named Meggie whose father is reading her a story from Ink Heart and then the villain is transported out of the book into their living room. And it is up to Meggie to figure out how to harness the magic that brought this villain out of the book and put them back in before they wreak havoc on Earth, but I think it sounds really fun. The next book is probably the one that I am the most excited for. My boyfriend got it for me for my birthday, and I have been talking about this book nonstop for the past, uh, <laughs> year and a bit because my favorite author has written another book and it is Night Strider by Sophia Slade. Used to be Sophia Elaine Hansen. This is the author of the Vinyl Trilogy, which has been my favorite series since I first read it years ago. But this is her newest book that was published by Orbit, which I think is so exciting for her. I'm so proud of her. She's been working towards this forever, but it follows Ren, who is a nightmare. I'm pretty sure that it is either going to be a trilogy or a quartet. I can't remember exactly, but I am so excited to pick this up. I have the audiobook of it, and also I have made literally everybody in my friend group um, try to find it and read it because I'm just so proud of Sophia and she deserves the entire world. So I'm so excited that it is finally in my hand. It's gonna go up on my Sophia shelf. Yes, I have a Sophia shelf. I just... I'm so excited. The next book that I have is from Wednesday Books. They sent me over Needy Little Things. This is by Chanel de Samors. It is a debut speculative YA mystery about a girl named Soraya who has the ability to sense people's needs and things get a little bit tough for her and so she decides to use those abilities to make a little extra cash but then her friend goes missing, her brother falls ill and her mom loses her job and things just kind of implode and it's the story of that. I think it sounds pretty interesting. I am intrigued to see where the story goes because I have some few ideas about where it could go, but I want to see if I'm correct. The but. next books I have were sent over by Tor, and they are part of a duology. The first is Rise of the Mages. The second is The Fate of Silent Gods. These are both by Scott Drakeford. The duology follows a man who wants to be a weapons master, and on the day of his final exam, it becomes very bloody, and it's organized by the people who have enslaved his brother. With the help of an undercover mage, this man discovers his own latent powers. He discovers that he is one of the last ancient mage kings, and he has to use his ability abilities in order to save his brother and it's like the story of that. He's apparently a fallen god and I have the whole duology so I am able to binge. Very excited. Then Tor sent me over the Tomb of Dragons. This is by Catherine Addison. This is the final book in the Cemeteries of Amalo trilogy. I have read the first two books so I am intrigued to see where the story finishes. It's a spin-off of the Goblin Emperor. Next book is one that I bought for myself for my birthday because it was on sale and I've had the first book on my shelf forever and I actually just bought the third book which you will see in a haul very soon. It's not here yet but it is Blade Breaker by Victoria Aveyard. This is the second book in the Realm Breaker trilogy and the third book is Fate Breaker which like I said is on its way. I believe it's an Arthurian retelling, but I could be very wrong. I cannot read the synopsis because it is the second book in a series and I don't want to spoil it for myself. I'm getting all three books so that I can just binge the whole thing because I just think that the covers are really pretty and I want to display them on my shelves, on my finished shelf. You know what I'm saying? You know. Next book was sent over to me by Wednesday Books as well and it is Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Rowell. The sprayed edged paperback edition. I have the hardcover version and now I have the paperback version. I will probably be getting rid of my hardcover because I just think that the sprayed edges are really pretty. When I read this it was like when it first was released and I gave it a five out of five stars. I honestly don't know how I would feel rereading it so I do think that I need to do a reread because I have heard 
some things that people have not been particularly happy about with this book but as a very young reader I wasn't looking for those things so I am curious to see what I would think of it now but I am going to do a reread to see what I think of the story as a more critical reader at 29 rather than 16 or whatever I was when I read it. And then the next couple of books are all books that I bought with my own money. The first one is Throne of Glass by Sarah J Maas. This is the newer cover. I own all of the like original covers but I saw this at the thrift store for $2.50 and I was like hmm. The next two I am very very excited about because I've been on the hunt for these two books forever. The first one is Dowry of Blood by S.T. Gibson in the old cover. I love this cover. I think it is so pretty and I have heard nothing but amazing things about this book so I desperately have been searching for it. On Amazon it's like 40 bucks in Canada and I just cannot justify spending $40 on any book so I found this on Facebook Marketplace for $5 so I snatched it. And then the next book that I was also on the hunt for is Heartless Hunter by Kristen Cicerelli. I love Kristen Cicerelli's writing. I pretty much give all of her books four to five stars. I think she is so talented. So this is her newest release. It's The Crimson Moth in the rest of the world, I think, just not Canada. I know the second book is coming out soon or maybe it's already been released. And then the final book is one that I found in a little library. I couldn't remember if I already had it on my shelf, so I grabbed it. Turns out I do already have it on my shelf, so now I have two copies, so I will probably be unhauling this one or the other copy depending on which one's in better condition but it is The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue by Mackenzie Lee. This book has been around forever I just still have not picked it up so that is on me I should do that soon I will eventually. All right everybody so those were the 21 books that I had to haul for you all. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video you guys can check out the code and link that I have down below to get 50% off your eyeglasses from Fermo. Definitely recommend definitely going to be wearing these all the time. Big fan. They have cheap and affordable glasses that you can also rock during any time of the year. So definitely check out the link and code in my description box down below. Let me know if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!